welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to bypass the forgotten pin or microsoft account password in windows 10 and windows 11. so right now you can see i'm stuck on a screen that asked me for the pin so you might be also on the same screen where you don't know your pin or your microsoft account password so the solution is that we will have to create a new local account with the administrative right so that we can log into our computer and fix the problem so the first thing what you will have to do from your keyboard you need to press and hold the shift key and while holding the shift key you need to click on the power icon at the right hand corner then you have to click on restart and while holding only you have to click on restart anyway and the computer will now be coming up with some advanced options and once you see this kind of a screen you have to click on troubleshoot then you have to click on advanced options and then you have to click on command prompt now the black window of command prompt will be up now here we have to run few simple steps and then we can easily create a new local account but many of you will have the problem where it will ask you the password in order to bring up the command prompt so if it asks you for the password then what you will have to do you will have to create a new bootable usb drive of windows 7 8 10 or 11 and if you don't know how to do that then i've already created a video you can check that video create a bootable usb but for the people where it's not asking you the password then you can skip this method where i'm going to explain that how you have to come to the command prompt using the bootable usb so connect your bootable usb to the computer and then you have to start the computer in the bios mode because you will have to change the boot priority i'm using virtual machine here so what i will do i can come to the boot section and I can change the USB and I can select the USB in order to boot the next time with that particular bootable USB. So you will also have to do the same thing. You have to go to the BIOS using the BIOS shortcut key that can be F12, F2, delete or escape depending on the manufacturer. So come to the BIOS then go to the boot section change the boot priority order to that particular bootable USB and the next time when the computer will boot up and this kind of windows installation page will now be up. Now here you don't have to install windows so don't worry about it simply click on next here then you will be getting an option of repair your computer you have to click on it you will be getting this kind of options click on troubleshoot and then click on command prompt so the command prompt will now be up without any kind of problem so once you come up here you will have to type regedit regedit hit the enter key the registry editor will be up now here you have to click on h key local machine click one select it then from the top menu option click on file and then click on load hive and now you will be getting this kind of page now here from the left hand menu option you have to click on this pc and then it will display all kind of your drive including my bootable pen drive so you will have to look for the one where your operating system has been installed so on my end that is the local disk c so i will make a double click on it then look for windows double click on it then you have to look for system 32 so keep scrolling down until you find system 32 double click on it and here you have to look for config double click on it and then you have to look for a file by the name system so once you get it make a double click on it in the key name you have to type here fix now this can be anything i'm just taking as an example because this is a temporary key that we will be using in order to fix the problem so you can also take the same name or if you want to take any other then you can take it click on ok and then again make a double click on h key local machine and you will find this folder now by the name fix so make a double click on this fix folder and here you have to look for the setup folder once you get it click on it now on the right hand side you have to look for cmd line once you get it make a double click on it and in the value data here you have to type cmd.exe i repeat cmd.exe click on ok and then we have to look for the setup type double click on it and change the value data from 0 to 2 then click on ok now we are done from here 
So click on fix again, the fix folder at the left hand side, click once, again click on file, then click on unload hive, click on yes, now you can close this folder, now in the black window type exit, then click on continue, and this time when the computer will come up, it will automatically bring up the black window like this. So now here you have to run few command in order to create a local account. So the first command will be net user so that we can find out that how many users we have. Hit the enter key. And now you can see that I have only one guest account that is my Microsoft account. So what we have to do here we have to create a new local account. So for that you have to type net space user space then type the name of the user account that you want. So let's say I want by the name crown. So I will type crown. Again give a space. And now type the password for this username that you want. Again give a space. Type forward slash. Then type add. And hit the enter key. So the username has been created. Now we have to give this user the admin permission. So for that type net. Space. Local. Group. Space. Administrators then give a space again again type the same username that you have created give a space forward slash add this command is also completed now all this command you will also find in the description so don't worry about it so now we have successfully created the username so we can type exit and now you will directly come to the login page so now this time where it asks you the pin on the very left hand corner you will find that local account that you have just created so you can click on it and type the same password that you have created so i created one two three four i will type it then hit the enter key and now this new user account will now be setting up so in this way we have created a new local account that helped us to enter the computer now once we will be inside the computer we can easily take the data back because nothing will be deleted we only need to access it okay so finally our desktop has been loaded so now only the thing is remaining that you will have to access all your data all the application that you have installed on your computer so what you can do you can click on the start icon this will list you all the application that you have installed then you can just drag this on your desktop and it will be all done now if you want to take the whole backup of your old user account then what you can do bring up the file explorer then from the left hand menu option click on this pc then go to local disk c then go to users and here you will find the old username of microsoft account so make a double click on it click on continue so you would be able to access it because we have already given the administrative permission to this local account. And now here you will find all your data that is in your desktop, that is in your document, download, everything you will find it. Okay, so this is how you can just bypass the Microsoft account, recover the forgotten password and get all your data back without any kind of problem. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you will enjoy this video, found this video helpful. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe for any kind of question, any kind of problem, let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.